Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So in this video, we will talk about the Go High Level live chat. We will implement the live chat feature on a website and we will talk about all its benefits. We will talk about what restrictions it has currently. So without further ado, let's just get started. So the chat widget can be implemented on a website by installing a chat widget that's given by High Level. So right now, High Level has a few different options of chat widgets. Uh, number one is the normal one where people just leave their details and that's it. Then you can add further automations to that, but that's not live. The second one is a live chat feature, which is exactly what we are talking about in this video and which is what we are going to implement later on. The third one is a WhatsApp chat widget, which we can talk about in another video, but let's just uh, stick to the live chat one in this one. So the live chat widget will be implemented on a website and people will be able to leave their details and start a conversation that conversation will be initiated in the conversations area of the high-level account. So if you are on the desktop, you can send yourself a notification whenever there's a live chat in query. You can also send yourself a notification on the mobile app. So you can chat with the person that left the inquiry on mobile. So this is exactly what we are doing. First of all, we are gonna configure the entire thing on the live chat settings. We are gonna install that on the website and then we will test it to see how the conversations come in and then how you can talk to the people that inquire on the live chat widget. Okay, here we go. So the live chat feature under a Go High Level sub account can be found under sites and uh, go to chat widget. And this is the chat widget feature that I was talking about. So let me just delete everything and start from scratch. So if we hit new, it will give me a few options. It will give me all in one, which combines everything and gives people option to select either SMS or email chat or live chat or WhatsApp chat. This is the normal one where they just leave their details. This is the live chat and this is the WhatsApp chat. So I'll just select live chat on this option and uh, this will give me the interface to configure my live chat widget. So this is the setting configuration window. Uh, first of all, you can edit the style. This is the preview. This is what it looks like and this is what it will look like when you install it on a website. And uh, so this is a chat prompt. So it's either with image or without image. Uh, I prefer if it, uh, you know, it having an image, it, it's more personalized, but obviously you need to change this image. I'll show you how to change that as well. This is the theme. This is the icon. You can select your desired icon. I, I always like the rounded icons, but it obviously depends on this, um, the design of your website and how it goes. So this is um, the theme obviously you can just select your own theme you can have your custom colors in it but i'll just select one of the pre-built uh so hi there have a question text us here that's the welcome email that's sorry that's the welcome text so that's even without opening the live chat so if if i click on it it'll give me a few other options but before opening it it'll give me a text which is a kind of pop-up and you can change that from here so this is for new users and based on the cookie, uh, it, it can detect returning visitors. And this is the message for returning vi visitors. So if someone already left their details based on the cookie, uh, it will detect if it's a returning visitor and then it'll display the message to them. Uh, widget customization. So here are a few more options where the widget will be placed. So I usually prefer it on the right bottom or left bottom. That's it. And uh, uh, let's just keep it on the right bottom. Or a widget dimension can be auto or custom. I keep, I'll keep. i just keep it auto, but if you want to adjust the width and height of the widget, you can definitely do that. And let's hit save. Let's go to chat window now. So this is the window. This is what happens when they open up uh, the, the pop-up or the chat widget. So this is the title. You can edit that from here. This is the intro message. That's the intro message. You can edit that from here contact form option so obviously before before initiating a conversation or let's just say in order to initiate the conversations in the live chat window they need to leave their details so what details are we capturing we are by default capturing their name and phone number you can also grab their email or other custom values sorry custom fields that you, you want to include and then you can say start chat that's the button that they need to click on uh, in order to initiate that chat you're going to have a redirect call to action if you want live chat assigned so when the live chat is assigned what happens is um when the live chat is being assigned let's say uh give us a minute to assign you the best person to help you out just let's keep it that uh what's the timeout delay so how long should the chat widget 
wait for someone to pick up the conversation. Let's just say five or 10 minutes. Uh, I, I would keep 10 minutes. Looks like no one is available. So this message will be displayed if no one picked up the conversation. Um, and you know, then further actions can be done through workflows. But this is this is displayed when no one picked up the conversation. Live chat closed. So chat closed inactivity. That's when the contact who left the inquiry is not available. So chat closed due to user inactivity. That's the user. That's when the user was not active in the chat. Uh, you can also set that to 10 minutes. That's that's kind of how it works on any typical uh, chat widget. Uh, business office hour setup so you can have your own business hours you can have some additional options where you can have agency branding uh, that will show the white label branding if you enable that powered by you know all that stuff so i would just keep it closed consent checkbox for hipaa so that's this is for hipaa compliance you can you can have that you can configure that uh, you know according to how you need so the, these are the acknowledgement messages. So your chat has ended. Please rate your experience. Thank you for taking time to start a new chat. You know, this is what happens when the chat ends. So when the chat is has ended, these are the things that will happen. But obviously, you can choose your own words in this. Uh, this is the placeholder color. You can change that. You can select your own language. Uh, I don't think it supports a lot of languages but right now. But, you know, you, you never know if you want to have French or German or Spanish or stuff. That's already there. So these are all the configurations that you could go through. Um, once you are done with configuring this, now it's time for us to implement this. So for WordPress, um, what you can do is you can install the lead connector plugin in and connect it there. But for any other application like Squarespace, Wix, or anything else, any other custom application you have your website on, you can just get the code from here. Uh, and that's this works for WordPress as well. And I will show you how it's implemented in WordPress because I have a WordPress website. So I'll just copy this code in order to implement this on your website. We need to copy this code and then paste it. And I'll show you where to paste it. It actually shows you where to paste it. So copy this code in the body or the footer section of your website. So what we'll do is we will go to my website right now and implement it there. Okay, guys, so this is my website, uh, WordPress dashboard. What I'm going to do is I actually use a plugin called header footer code manager to install codes like this, like Google Analytics, Tag Manager, Facebook Pixel, and all that stuff. I use this particular uh, plugin to install these types of codes. So what I'll do is I'll just add a new snippet here and uh, let's just go to snippet name and I'll call it chat widget or I'll just say live chat widget. HTML is fine, site-wide, okay, uh, location will be footer because it asked me to do it in the footer. Once that's done, I'll just simply paste the code here. Let me just see. There we go. Save it, and that's it. Installing the code was successful. Now we need to just make sure it's active and that's how we found out the status of this code is active. Okay, now let's just go ahead and test it. Okay, so this is my website. What I need to do is just I need to initiate a chat here. It will just ask me to send a message. So I'll just say, hey, is, uh, is anyone available? So this message that I just sent through the chat widget should end up in the conversations area of the Go High Level account. Let's just go and see. Okay. So let's close it back conversations. Let's just go to unread, uh, unread. Yeah. Hey, there is anyone available now? If I just do hi, this is the account. This is not the user. So I'm actually the representative that talking that's talking to the user. Hi there. Um, yes. How are you doing today? And now let's just go to website there you go so this is the message that i received from the other end uh yes i would like to book a call right so i'll just go back i would like to book a call so a message received from uh in this end so this is the back and forth conversation you can have uh through the live chat widget but you didn't receive a notification when there was an inquiry in the live chat so for that you need to set up a workflow. So that's exactly what we're doing now. So let's go to automation. 
We just need to create a really simple workflow to get notified whenever there's a new live chat inquiry. So we just say new. And this is our new workflow. We we'll just say uh, new live chat message notification. Okay. So we will say customer reply. This is the trigger. This is when the workflow will be triggered. Customer replied. Reply channel. We will say reply channel is live chat. So whenever there's a new message in the live chat widget, we will just send ourselves a notification and the type will be notification. It could be email as well. Like you can send yourself an email every time there's a new live chat inquiry. So new live chat inquiry and then the message will be hi there is a new inquiry on the website live chat please respond and whom does it, does this uh go to so the redirect page is where uh, you know if if you're using the mobile app if you get the notification on your notification bar if you click on it where does it go so i would take it to the conversations area so literally just click on the notification and then start chatting with the person that had uh, that has the inquiry in the chat so um user type so whom are we sending this notification to i would say all users like whoever picks it up first that should be how uh, it's done and that's it so every time there's a new live chat inquiry this workflow will send notification uh, on desktop and on the mobile app to all the users in this uh, in this sub account so that's how you implement live chat i know there are way more cool stuff we could do with live chat uh, we can implement the conversation ai in this live chat channel so no one even has to chat with the person uh, that has the live uh, has an inquiry in the live chat in the website the the ai bot can pick it up and then answer any questions they have or book them in uh, if they want to book an appointment right so we will talk about all that cool stuff in maybe another video but this video was about configuring the live chat implementing it installing it on a website that's what we did hope this video was useful i will see you in the next one